Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Shira Smiley. I'm Shira Smiley. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I just want to talk about um, Nipsey Hussle. So, some of you may know that Nipsey Hussle was um, a rapper, a philanthrop philanthropist, a father, a son, many things. Um, a, a prominent member of the LA community and unfortunately he was killed due to gun violence on March 31st 2019 and honestly this his death impacted me in a way that I don't understand so just to give you guys a little bit of context Nipsey Hussle is a rapper um, that's what he's probably most famous for but I really never listened to his music of course I know who he was and I knew some of his songs but I was never a super fan um, I would never have gone to like a concert or anything like that. Like, you know, regular, regular supporter like most people. Like, I like the songs that I did know, but I was never like a super fan. And it wasn't until I remember when I like, I went to sleep because I'm six hours ahead and nine hours ahead of the West Coast. So I'm six hours ahead on, of the East Coast in the United States and nine hours ahead in the West Coast. And I just remember waking up. And I said, you know what? I have a new routine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna check my phone. But then I was like, oh, I got an extra 15 minutes today because my coworkers come a little late to pick me up because I get a carpool to um, school, the school where I work in Spain. So I was on Instagram and I saw a person that I follow Insta story and it said, heaven couldn't wait for you with a heartbreak. It was a picture of Nipsey Hussle. And I was just like, that's weird. <laughs> so what did I do? I went to the shave room. And it was just like all the pool stuff. You know, the Nipsey Hussle got shot. Nipsey Hussle's been pronounced dead. It's just, and I was just like, what? Like it just, and it didn't make sense to me. I was just so confused, like reading the news. But then what followed that was like a sense of hurt in my, in my chest, honestly. Like I was genuinely like upset about this man's death. And I was talking to one of my friends from back home. We were just like, why are we so impacted by this? And I said, this must be our ancestors. So I'm a very spiritual person. I feel like the ancestors protect and guide me on my travels throughout the world. And that's the only explanation for why I felt like this. Um, and so I just kept feeling sad, kept feeling sad, kept feeling sad. And my friend, she would like send me stuff like about him. And I was just like, okay, like this is just like, it's so much like being on my phone like seeing everything seeing all the tributes and the rest in pieces and, and no one could believe it it was just like black Instagram was like in a communal state of disbelief and shock and you know questions of like mortality immortality because we know as people that we all have a death date we will all die but I guess with Nipsey it just almost felt like his life wasn't supposed to end like it was just it was purposefully cut short obviously it was purposefully cut short because he was murdered but it just didn't feel right and to this day um over a week almost two weeks later it still feels like it wasn't it didn't have to happen like it didn't have to be like this um and I, what I want to talk about today is like what we can all learn from Nipsey. So as a traveler, a black girl or a traveler, I love to travel the world. I love to meet new people, have these new experiences. But I also feel a great sense of responsibility to go back to my hood, my community where I'm from, which is Philadelphia, more specifically Uptown, and help fix some of the problems that uh, my my city faces um, now poverty is probably one of the biggest issues um, that Philadelphia faces um, especially amongst black people not all black people are poor of course but poverty is a big issue now poverty is a problem of systems the way systems are racist and they function in a way that purposefully disadvantages black people and other people of color so that's a huge, huge, huge task to fight against. And I remember being 18 and actually I remember, let's take it back even further. I remember being a kid and saying, you know what? Like, I, I don't want to grow up poor. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be like 
the people around like the, I don't I didn't want to fall victim to some of the stuff that I saw the other young girls my age um, doing like being in abusive relationships getting pregnant very early um, dealing with abusive parents a lot of just vile stuff that I just wanted to get away from run from so I just poured myself into my books and I got a combination of financial aid and scholarships and I just went to Virginia um, to study at a small liberal arts school which ended up being a very bad decision but I just wanted to get out I wanted to change my surroundings and then when I um although I wasn't a big fan of Nipsey's music um, I would watch some of his interviews and I would see how he would talk about his community how he was just like you know it was never like I was gonna leave it was always how can we help and I thought that by so he stayed and literally died in his community and I thought that by me leaving and educating myself and bettering myself and maybe you know one day making money that that was a way of helping too and then it wasn't until I got to college that I realized that money really doesn't mean as much as I thought it did. Um, obviously, in a capitalistic society, you need money to um, survive. But the real, the real impact, the real, um, the real success is having peace in your heart, having a clean heart, a heart of gold, and bringing people along with you to um, help them in any way they can, even if it's just shout out, a simple showing of love. And also, it's about showing people that what they see around them is just that, what they see around them. That doesn't mean that you have to do the same things. So people now that I, you know, have entered into this new platform and space have told me that they're so proud of me, that, you know, people from where they, our communities, like, they don't see people doing what I'm doing. So, like, that's you know, so to keep up the good work. And that makes me so happy that I'm able to inspire people my age, people younger than me, especially little black girls. Like, that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I've always wanted to do is just show people that you don't have to, just because you may have adverse circumstance, circumstances, that that doesn't have to be the um, end of your story. And so with the death of Nipsey Hussle, it's also just made me realize that I need to go back to my community. And I think that's another reason why um, I want to go home is just because I feel like I can do so much more. Like I'm teaching now in Spain and I don't have that cultural identification with them, but I identify with black kids going to inner city schools because that was my experience. Um, I may have went to, now I went to, for high school, I went to, I've always went to public school, but I went to, you know, um, we call it like, what do, what do we call it? Special select schools? Like, I had, you have to, I had to test into that school, uh, my high school. But I went to public school my whole life, so I understand the struggles. I, I see what people go through. Um, and so I feel like if I'm going to teach here and make a little bit of money, I need to be put in. I could, it's really no reason for me to do that when I can be back in Philly making more money and working with kids that are like me, that look like me and inspire them because that's only that's the real bag to me the real bag that's the real joy that i get is helping people letting people know you you don't gotta you don't gotta do 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 bad stuff or do negative things to get things that you want like you can go live in spain you can go to iceland like i didn't like i didn't that was never in my thought process as a 14 year old so i just want to say Rest in peace, MC Hustle. You know, you you gained a lifelong fan. Unfortunately, you know, it comes um, as a result of your death. But that's life. And we all are divine. And, you know, you have eternal life. He has eternal life now. I'm speaking, I'm speaking like I'm speaking to MC Hustle, but, but he is around. You know, he has eternal life now. So, um... And that's all I wanted to say. I want to know what you guys think. Um, as for those of you who are professional travelers who are traveling, do you feel like it's important that um, like other people like you, people that come from where you come from, see you traveling? I know as a black traveler, it's like I never traveled as a child. I never traveled as a child. Like we never went anywhere, never took family vacations. So the fact that I went from 
never traveling to visiting my 20th country in less than 48 hours is just I don't even know how it feels partially because I haven't made it to the 20th country yet and also just because I just I don't know but I made a commitment to live my dreams and to figure out myself and and everybody has a different path like some people are going to stay in their community and go through it ride it out tough toughen out and some people I also think it's it's fine to do what I did which is to leave and come back because maybe you do need to leave your community for a period of time and get some resources, get some money, get get knowledge, get other people to believe in you, and then come take those resources back. But it's important, I think, to never leave um, wherever you are. And if you do leave permanently, that's okay too. But just make sure that you make an impact and that you're inspiring people wherever you go in the world, whether you stay in your community in Philly, whether you decide to become an expat and live the rest of your life in Africa or Europe, just make sure that you're making an impact on people's lives. And that's the biggest thing that I've truly realized. I've always known that, but I feel it now. And as a very spiritual person, I f the ancestors are talking to me and I feel it. And I'm just grateful to have had the opportunity to experience this. Of, um, and I'm just happy that, you know, at first I was scared when all this stuff started happening, like with Nipsey. I was just like, oh my God, like, why do I feel like this? Can this stop? Can this feeling go away? Like, because I know when the ancestors are speaking to me, I'm very, very spiritual. I know when they're speaking to me. I know when they're trying to tell me something. So I'm like, I don't, what? Usually, like, I'll ask something to the ancestors or I'll ask for something or help with something and they will speak to me. But the fact that this just happened as a result of someone's death, that truly, truly shook me. Um, and I think that that just means I'm developing more as a woman. I'm developing my sixth sense. It's becoming more robust. And that, that's going to help me as I travel, as I continue to, um, to travel through communities and to learn new things and travel the world and take all this knowledge back to my, back to my community. I think it's so important that we just continue to continue to just be who we are. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of rambling, but be who we are and um, inspire. If that's nothing else, I want y'all to know that y'all can do whatever. Don't look at me like, oh my gosh, I so this, she so that. You can do this too. There's no reason why um, you can't do it. Uh, we all have our struggles. We all have problems. You can do it. Just put your mind to it and all will work out and that's all you really have to do nobody can stop you walk by faith not by sight if you're not a religious person um i'm sorry because i really am <laughs> i'm a very spiritual person so i believe in god and i believe in faith and i truly believe that walk by faith not by sight because if you have faith in a higher power and you want to do something you do it you just do it you're not you're not focused on what other people gotta say um, when people told me not, not to move or just was such a big scary thing or whatever the case may be or they had opinions after the fact, nothing is going to stop me. I had that in my, I had that in my mind. Nothing is going to stop me because I have faith. And after Nipsey is killing, I feel like I have even stronger faith in my ancestors and stronger faith in God. And I'm so happy to have had this, um, this revelation. Um. So I also just want to say, um, to end all that about Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace to a great soul who inspired her, who has inspired millions. I've been seeing all over the internet, people talking about how, um, you know, his death has birthed so many other Nipsey's and I love that. Um, and I just hope that we continue this momentum and we continue to get stronger, um, every, everyone and many blessings and peace and 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 spiritual spiritual balance to his family his loved ones his children his life partner his parents his sisters his siblings his, his sister and brother um and yeah rest in peace nipsey hustle you was about your community and you made me um excited more excited to be about mine so 
I, I just want to say thank you and I know you I know you're not physically here for me to say thank you but I know you're around and I know that you hear me so I that's that's what I want to say to Nipsey Hussle so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this was like out of the ordinary but I definitely felt like it was necessary and I hope you guys come back to my channel for more videos in the future let me know what you guys want to talk about and see i'm trying to trying to do a little bit of everything so y'all can get you know just the full shira not just um traveling and travel recommendations and going this place and that place i want my channel to be all encompassing so let me know if you like this video um i will be back real soon with more content um my 20th country is coming soon that's a big one and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.